Residents are being urged not to flush disposable wipes into their toilets with the products causing major blockages to the region's sewer networks. While baby, facial, cleaning and personal wipes are often marketed as flushable, they do not break down in water. Wipes can make their way to sewage pump stations where they must be fished out by staff. They cause pump stations to run overtime using more electricity and potentially increasing rates. Remember, only flush toilet paper. Wipes, nappies, rags, sanitary items, cotton buds, medicine and dental floss belong in the bin. Council is excited to announce the region's 2018 Jewel Australia Day Ambassadors are accomplished authors Judy Nunn and Bruce Venables. Join in the free 2008 Australia Day celebrations at Robertson Park Mudgee on Friday 26 of January. The Family Fun Day will include a free barbecue from 10am, Jumping Castle, live music and entertainment as well as market stalls. Tesla drivers can now plug in and recharge in Mudgee's CBD. Council and Tesla have joined forces to install a destination charging station in the Stables car park. Tesla vehicles are 100% electric and do not use traditional fuel sources. Would you like to create a windbreak on your property? Native trees are available free of charge to eligible property owners near areas of high conservation value or roadsides with habitat characteristics for threatened species. Application forms can be found on Council's website or by phoning Council. Did you know Mudgee Community Transport's 23 volunteers performed a total of 1,987 trips in 2017? Auspiced by Council, the service provides transport for the frail aged and disabled and their carers, as well as those in the community at a disadvantage because of limited public transport services. If you'd like to become a volunteer, expressions of interest can be made at the Carmel Crone Community Services Centre on the corner of Market and Juro Streets or by calling 6378 2710. Council is now accepting proposals from the community as part of planning for the 2018-19 operational plan. The plan sets out the projects and activities which Council is committed to over the coming financial year with measures, timeframes and responsibilities identified. If you have an idea or feedback about infrastructure, projects or rates, make a submission through Council's website.